Good evening, world. Here I am out here. I read a lot in the Bible today. I got to the part where in uh, Kings, I'm about chapter 3, and I read the rest of Samuel 2. And um, I'm looking forward to what comes forth in the book and moving on to the New Testament. I don't plan on stopping reading the Old Testament. I'll start from the beginning when I'm done. And I'm out here with my dog, listening to gospel music, and the sun's going down, and the American flag's waving in the cool breeze in the August night. And I can't be happier as a man with my family, with my God, with my situation in life. Sometimes I wonder what kind of man I would have been like if I found Jesus sooner. But I spent my whole young life kind of mocking him, not really understanding a man that I saw in a movie, Ben Hur, when I was a kid and saw how amazing that man was. I've known about Jesus for a long time, but I've never known him. When he came to me, he showed me the way. He gave me the light and stopped all my fears from my past. And it shows that my future is not set in darkness but I still I pray that I don't do enough I pray that I can do more not for me I've wasted my most of my life not loving him but there's a lot of other people out there that can definitely use the freedom now. They need his love. It's not that I don't want to work anymore, but my work doesn't seem as important as Jesus and spreading his name and his love to whoever I can. My family hears it all the time. I'm always, for lack of a better word, preaching about everything. Sometimes I get pretty judgmental, I would have to say. And it's not coming from a place of anger. It's, it's coming from a place of desperation and love. So many other things in life outside of good and evil just the daily to do we get lost <laughs> we get lost in it we forget what love is we forgot who God was and I don't want to be angry anymore I don't want to hurt anymore I just want people to know his love and may God bless us all one love have a good evening